to Modeling Misadventures and in this video we're back on with the Slek KD Picasso torpedo boat and in the last video we got some of the deck fittings on there now it's time to add some weapons the torpedoes and the guns are coming so carrying on with the fittings kit 16 torpedoes this is quite a big build because you've got to build the torpedoes and the cradles So we've got some back form parts for the torpedoes themselves, some little propellers and rudders, and some wooden parts here, strengthening sheets. These are all the bits for the cradles. Now you've got to strengthen these torpedo halves with these wooden strips. And you've got to fit in there but they've got to go a bit deeper because you've got to use this depth gauge to push them in to make sure they're at the right depth. So this is going to need sanding. So that's slotted in there and this little depth gauge, as you can see, just tells you that it's at the right depth. And I've got all those inserts sanded down so that they all fit now these just need to be glued in. Now I've got to cut this plastic back here, sand it down flat so that those two halves can be joined together like that. So I've got these torpedo half sanded down and now they just need gluing together. So these are the torpedoes. Still a little bit of work to do on these. You can see there's still some gaps on some of these and I'm gonna try and stick that together with uh, polystyrene glue. And then they might need a bit of filling and sanding, but they look pretty good. Well, these two edges are sealed together, all right. Um, just going to need a bit of sanding now to get rid of those seams. I've got these all sanded down and next you're just going to put these propellers on, which uh, you have to saw a slit in there to fit them in. Lovely job. All right, now it's time for these cradles and they're pretty simple construction, just the usual gluing bits of wood together. Now that's a torpedo cradle. Shows in the instructions to use some of this dowel to put some additional supports on the back like that, but there isn't enough of these in my kit to do that. So I'm just gonna use cocktail sticks. Well, that's the finished torpedo cradle. Just gotta make another three of them. So that is uh, the four torpedoes and their cradles all done, ready for painting. Now the next few stages of this kit are all just making what look like wooden boxes of various sizes. So just gonna make all those together. So these are all my deck fittings done, little boxes and the like. And um, these here are some life rafts. They were made just exactly the same way as the torpedoes were. So all I need to do with these now is just uh, fill in these joins and gaps and then get them painted. Well, they look a bit rough now, but after a bit of sanding and painting, they'll come good. Well, that's all the parts sprayed grey, and now time to put all those on.
I got my torpedo sprayed black and now I've got to put a yellow tip on them. All right, here we go. Yellow spray paint. Here they are. Look at that. Right, the next few stages are doing the mast, this sort of antenna, and little radar unit. Right, these are the bits we've got to make a little mast. Now these are the parts for kit 26 and most of this is actually a jig that you're going to make up to uh, make sure everything's aligned properly. Very clever. So you're going to glue this together first and then make the antenna in it. Now that's the jig holding those two pieces in and then we can cut them along here to get the right angle. Now that is very clever because the part that you've cut off, if you turn it around, it's at the perfect angle to make the bottom part of the mast. Now this is another part of the template just to make sure that these dowel rods are the correct distance apart. And then you have to fit these plastic caps. Now I had to do a lot of grinding out in here with my rotary tool to get that to fit, fit on there. I reckon there was at least a millimeter um, too small to get that to fit. Anyway, I I've sanded it out and it now fits. Now this piece goes on here, but it's gotta be painted black. So I'm gonna paint that first before putting that on. Right, kit 27. This is the radar installation. Well, that's those sections done. That's a mast. Uh, these actually are funnels apparently with a, an antenna that goes on top. And here is the radar installation. These all just need filling, sanding and painting. All right, all painted and ready to be fitted. So that's that bit done. And I've done a bit of research and discovered that these were the exhaust for a diesel generator on the boat, not for the engines. And this is a, an antenna. And there's the mast, looks very nice. And for the radar unit, you meant to just glue that on there, but I've actually drilled a hole in the top and bottom and I'm just gonna use a little pin to hold those together a bit better. Now it doesn't say to do this, but I'm gonna drill a hole here for that mast. Now in the instructions, it says to paint a black stripe around the middle of here. That's a bit difficult. So I've actually cut off a thin strip of black vinyl. I'm gonna try and stick that on around the perimeter, see how that looks. And that's come out perfect. Now I'm pretty excited about the next two kits in this uh, boat. Kit 28 is a Bofors Mark 9. It says 1X here, but I think it's going to say Mark 9 anti-aircraft gun. And uh, Bofors is apparently a Swedish company that made this gun and it was widely used in World War II. And uh, plenty of instructions to build this gun and lots of diagrams and it's going to end up looking like that. And kit 29 is the twin Ehrlichan 
guns, which is a cannon, it sits at the back of the boat. And again, this is made out of wood and uh, hopefully can make it look quite nice. Now these are the parts for the Bofors gun. So as usual, um, some wooden laser cut parts, but the gun itself is made of white metal. It looks very nice. It's got a tiny little bit of flash on it, a little bit of sanding required, but I think that looks lovely. Now, normally with a stage like this, I would cut all these parts out before, but there's so many of them, I'm actually going to just uh, cut them out as I go along and fit them together, just so I don't get them all mixed up. Now that's a basic gun as it's made out of the box and it's actually it looks quite nice but they do provide some more detailed drawings in the instructions and if you have a look at this there is way more detail in this area here and over on over on here than what you get on the wooden kit and if you look at the pictures that they provide of the prototype model you can see here that it's got these extra details on. And this is the 3D printed version that I mentioned before that you used to be able to buy from Shapeways, but now it's no longer available. So I'm gonna have a go at designing a few of these little features on here on uh, Fusion and print them out on my resin printer and see what they look like. Now here are some pictures that I found on the internet of a real Bofors gun and I'm gonna use these also to help with the detailing. Now here's a video of one of these parts being made on the Fusion program. Just showing the various steps and the features that you make and put together. Uh, add little details on towards the end. And the end result I think is, is pretty good. I'm quite happy with how that has turned out. So these are the parts after they've come off the resin printer and nice details. I think they've come out pretty well. That's the one I just showed being made and there's some of the others. So now I just need to fill sand and paint this and glue those resin parts on. And that gun will be done. Well, here it is fully assembled and with the extra parts added on. And I think it's come out pretty good. Quite happy with how that looks. And now I'm just going to do exactly the same for these Ehrlichon guns. Now this is the basic Ehrlichon anti-aircraft gun set up as it comes out of the box. But again, we've got much more detailed pictures of it here in the instructions. And here are a few pictures of Ehrlichon guns that I found on the internet. And these will be uh, pretty handy for 
trying to come up with a few extra details. So I'm going to go back to Fusion and start designing some little parts and print them off on the resin printer. And this is how the twin Ehrlichan gun has turned out. Very happy with that. A few extra little parts and details on there. And I think it looks very nice. Okay, let's see what these look like on. This is just a test fit. I'm going to glue these guns in because I want them to rotate. Look at that. Right, after finishing them guns, the next three kits are all Sort of wire and rods. There's a torpedo hoist, a gun barrel support, and a jack staff to go at the front. Now these torpedo hoists are already bent to shape, but we're going to have to solder some supports on the side like that. Now I think holding and aligning these to solder them was going to be really difficult. So I've designed and 3D printed this little jig, and that's going to go in there like that and then this goes up here well hopefully and um, it'll hold it in place while I solder it together now that is such a nice fit there after filing it down that I'm actually going to glue it not solder it I don't think I could make a very nice job if I put a blob of solder on there. I think that's going to look much neater, just like that. So these are all the parts made out of the brass tubes, the uh, torpedo hoist, the support for the front gun and the jack staff which goes at the front while well, they're all painted and ready to go on now i'm going to fasten these hoists on by putting a pin in a hole in there I made this the exact size it should be and when I put it on the boat it's way too low it doesn't reach the barrel so I've just remade a bigger one that should be all right So I now on to kit 33, and this is the handrails around the superstructure here. Now to make these, we've got these two part supports, and they're gonna get put in this little frame like that. And then we've got to glue these onto there like that. Bit fiddly, but anyway, that's the way they say to do it. Now to put these handrails on, I'm going to put a piece of masking tape along here and all the way around. Then we're going to mark the positions of them and drill the holes for them to go in. Now I marked the drill holes on here, but I have deviated from the instructions. Now the instructions say this one should be 20 millimeter in from the back and then 50 and then 50. 
but that didn't look right, didn't look like the pictures and the spacing didn't seem right. So I put this one 30 mil in from the back and then 50 and 50. And that looks about right. And I've done the same on the front of the cabin as well. And now we can just drill them holes. Right, I'm just gonna slot these little handles in. Not gluing them in yet. I'm gonna make the handrail and then paint it and then refit it. Well, that's gone together really easy. And I'm just gonna glue that together, take it off and paint it. Quite tricky getting them on, but they have gone on all right and they look okay. Now kit 34 is very nice. We've got these deck posts made out of brass and this wire cable is going to run along the side of the decking. This is going to look lovely. Now it shows you here where all the holes have to be drilled and laying this deck plan on here is going to make this so much easier because I can just drill straight through there and they'll all be perfectly positioned. Now you've probably seen me using this little drill a few times on this model. This is a little battery operated drill called Aramax. Really useful for small modeling. Now these are the deck posts here and I put them in here just to spray paint them first. But if you look here, I've got a faulty one. It's incomplete and it's uh, it hasn't got the, atta the attachment at the top for the wire to go through. Now they should have provided one or two extra ones of these, I think, but they didn't. They provided the exact amount, which means I'm going to be one short. So I'll figure that out when I get to it, but I might have to ask them to send me a replacement for that. Should have just put an extra one or two in the packet. So I painted them. And I've attempted to mend this broken one by cutting it down and gluing another rod on. So it won't be very strong, but hopefully it'll work. All right, in these posts go, tiny bit of glue, filled all the holes. Got to make sure they're aligned the right way for the wire to go through. And they just go in like that. Now that is my repaired one. I don't think you can tell it apart, so it's gonna look all right. And now I'm just gonna thread the wire through the little holes to make the railings. It doesn't actually tell you how to finish these cables off at the front. It just says to anchor them to the deck somehow. So I've drilled a little hole. I'm going to put one of those in it and feed the wires in. So that's how mine looks. Well, I reckon those railings look pretty good. And this is the very last kit for this model. Kit number 35 and you get a couple of brass rods. And these are just going to be used to make a guard around that funnel. So that's my barrier and I've decided to go down the soldering route on this one and it's not too bad. And the very last part of the building instructions is to just fit some support rods on the mast and funnel. But it's basically just some bent wire. 
Well, that is all of the construction phase of the model done. All the fixtures and fittings are done. The guns, torpedoes, all the deck fittings and superstructure fittings. Need to touch that deck up. But now, all I need to do before it's finished is do all the weathering. Right, now to my go to basic weathering, oil paints in Zippo lighter fluid. I'm just gonna do a wash over everything. Well, as everything painted and weathered, um, I think some people might think I've gone a bit far with this, but I think it looks all right. So, now I'm just going to put it together and put a final few little bits and pieces on. I've just 3D printed this little cylinder thing here, and I'm going to use that to fasten this gun on at the back. Right, let's get these torpedoes on. Just gonna glue those on with a bit of epoxy. Now I wasn't keen on these open-ended tubes here, so I've 3D printed some little end caps and they just go in there and I think it just finishes that off a bit better. Now I've got this for the anchor chain and this for the anchor rope. Little bit of extra rope. Bit of dry brushing on the black bits. And one final little bit, these window frames. Tells you to do them with little strips of wood. I've just used some strips of silver tape and they look absolutely fine. Well, there it is. That is the model complete. Uh, there was a lot of work in all those deck fittings, but the end result is spectacular. I think it looks amazing. So a really lovely quality kit this, and I think it comes out uh, absolutely great. So that's it for this video. I've still got to put the uh, electronics motor radio control in here, but that'll be for the next video. But I hope you enjoyed this one, seeing this boat finally come together. And uh, for now, I'm gonna say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Modeling Misadventures.